The significance of this night is seen in many different ways in the tradition. The householders see this as the wedding anniversary of Shiva and Parvati, that's their way of seeing it. The ambitious ones see it as the day Shiva vanquished all his enemies, that is their way of seeing it. The yogis and the sadhakas see it as the day when Adi Yogi became still, so still that he merged with Kailash Parvat. There are many ways to look at this night, but the most important thing is that the nature is with us, Adi Yogi is with us. We should not miss the night. This is not just a night of wakefulness. This must become a night of awakening for every one of you. Why this whole effort? One thing is Mahashivaratri, another thing is why this Adi Yogi? What is the significance today? Are we starting a new cult? Are we out to create a new religion? Or are we once again bringing back a legend to life? None of these. The significance of Adi Yogi is that he offered scientific solutions to every aspect of life's problems and issues and possibilities. Because the approach is so scientific, in these fifteen thousand years or more, people only were overwhelmed by his presence, overwhelmed by his teacher, overpowered by his force, but did not really apply what he offered, because it took humanity to mature into a certain state of intellect and logic, which we feel today for the first time humanity is getting into that place. In the sense, today for the first time in the history of humanity, more human beings can think for themselves. I want you to just look back hundred years, five hundred years, thousand years, how people were. A priest, a pandit, a mullah, a guru or a scripture thought for them. For the first time, a large number of people are beginning to think for themselves. I think the time has come for Adi Yogi to walk this planet once again, because a scientific approach to human well-being has come. This is a force, this is a movement to shift humanity from religion to responsibility. Looking up to looking in. So here we are, this is a day for you to make the beginning that all solutions for human life here and beyond are within ourselves because <laughs> all problems on this planet were created by us and the solutions are obviously within us. If you are focused on one aspect, that is an awakening to the life that you are, tonight is the time to blossom into a new possibility